Hi, I'm Brandon with Vivo, and in this video we'll show you how to clean out heavy burnt sugar from a cotton candy machine. When using a cotton candy machine, if sugar is left inside for too long, it can, over time, burn to the point that it turns black, as you can see in this one here. When this happens, the sugar is no longer water soluble and becomes much more difficult to clean. So in this video, I'll show you what to do when that happens. So to start, we'll need to remove these four screws here, holding the top plate in place. When trying to remove these screws, if they're too hard to turn, don't try to force them. Instead, turn the machine's power and heater on for about 20 to 30 seconds. By letting the machine warm up for this amount of time, it will help to soften up any sugar that may have worked its way into the screws, helping them to come out much more easily. So now with the head warmed up, the screws should be able to loosen much more easily. For safety, be sure not to touch the parts with your bare hands after the machine is warmed up, since you could potentially burn yourself. If the top plate is still stuck on there, insert a flat blade screwdriver and pop it loose. With the top plate removed, you'll now be able to fully clean the inside of the head. For smaller amounts of burn sugar, you may be able to scrub it off using a scrubbing pad or scotch Brite pad, such as this one. For larger amounts of burn sugar though, you may have to chip some of it off or scrape it off using the edge of a tool like a screwdriver. And for some of the worst cases, you may even have to use a wire wheel such as this one on a power drill. Now when scraping or using the wire wheel, you'll want to be sure to wear eye protection. So to start, I'll be using the flat blade screwdriver here to scrape off this ring that's formed around the edges. And to do that, I'll turn the motor on and let it do the work. Now make sure not to use the screwdriver on this side where the head is spinning towards it. Use it on this side where the head is spinning away. And that took off the burned ring very quickly. So now for this area in here, I'll be using the wire wheel. With the motor running, gently and slowly place the wire wheel up to the head with the drill running and let the two parts work with each other to clean off the burned sugar. There may still be some burned sugar left inside after using the wire wheel, but as long as you have most of the metal showing, it will be clean enough to use again. So now, to finish the cleaning, you'll want to use a scrubbing cleaner right here. I've mixed up some Comet with water to make a sort of cleaning paste. Other cleaners that could work well here are soft scrub or even baking soda. By now the head should be cooled off, so you can hold it with one hand while using the other hand to scrub it with the scrubbing pad. This will ensure that it's as clean as possible to make sure that the cotton candy is not contaminated as it's formed. 
Wipe out the excess cleaning compound. And then use a damp towel or paper towel to make sure that anything that might be left is completely gone. You may need to wipe and rinse it out a couple times before the towel comes out with no discoloration. And that's when you know that the machine is ready to put back together and use again. And to finish off, you can turn the motor back on and pour just a small amount of water onto the head. The top plate here should also be cleaned before putting it back on the machine, but this typically gets much less heavily burnt and crusted with sugar, so when it's taken off the machine, it can be easily cleaned in the sink with soap and water. Place the top plate back onto the head, then tightly reinsert all four of the screws. And with this finished, the bowl can now be removed, rinsed out, and cleaned. With this cleaning finished, your machine will be ready to use again, and as long as it's kept clean and properly maintained, you shouldn't have any more problems with burned sugar. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our customer support team for assistance. Thank you for watching.